It's a special holiday schedule for our sports block on WHNO, the John Fourcade Show, Tuesday, 6 p.m. That's tomorrow at 6, a special edition. you want to catch it. Then a best of Prep Recruiting Insider, Wednesday night at 6 p.m. right here on WHNO TV 20. Ken Trahan, Sports Noah TV, our first big bowl game of sorts, certainly for us, took place this past Saturday night in the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. It was the r &L Carriers New Orleans Bowl. And Louisiana Tech's offense was awesome in this game. Jeff Driscoll had a big game throwing the ball, and Kenneth Dixon had an unbelievable game running the ball. What a catch here. Yeah. Great replay to show it. You got it. I caught it. Show me on television. We just did. Way to go. Driscoll, a guy that played in the SEC effectively, and a guy that had a huge game. And Dixon was unreal with the yards he put up. We talk about smashing records. This was all of that for Tech and 87 career touchdowns, an FBS record prediction. He lost his numbers, so he had to change jerseys at that. You talk about hilarious. It really was a funny experience for him. Kenneth Dixon passing Keenan Reynolds for the most career touchdowns in FBS history. What a game he had. All right, so we're playing games here, and let's find him a number. Let's find him a number. Come on, what's it going to be? There we go. You bet. He's number one, baby. He should be after this performance. He was special. Vaughn's wincing at this tackling, though, as Louisiana Tech goes on to whip the Red Wolves of Arkansas State 47 to 28 before over 32,000 fans. 687 yards for Louisiana Tech, the wow. fifth most in the bowl history of the United States. Wow. Crazy. Dixon was amazing. Driscoll was great. And I think they're still scoring. They, they can't stop them. All right, Vaughn, you know a little bit about Skip Holtz. Uh, he's at Louisiana Tech and obviously doing a good job, and you know all about him because of his roots at East Carolina. Yeah, yeah, he was definitely the coach there at East Carolina back in North Carolina, so congratulations to him. He's doing a great job. Big win. Exciting win. This should have been called the D&D &D, uh, uh, Carrier Bowl with uh, Dixon and Driscoll, because I'll tell you what, you know, the, the, the jersey that Dixon put on was Carlos Henderson's jersey. Right. From McDonough 35. Carlos got hurt in the first Correct. quarter. And uh, so he did this in memory, or at least in honor of, of his buddy. Uh, so a great game, great game. And look, Dixon is going to be a high draft choice, okay, come this year, I understand. Correct? No? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I think he's rated third running back rated in the draft coming up. So wow. the guy's got some ability. And, and Driscoll's really kind of uh, resuscitated his prospects yeah. because he was on the outs at Florida. Things weren't going well there. He goes to Tech. He's in a significant program. He gets to a bowl game, he plays a big game, he gets noticed, and that's only going to help him moving forward. And great job by the Greater New Orleans Convention and Visitors Bureau, by Jay Cicero and the Sports Foundation, and of course the New Orleans Bowl for a job well done. Everything was done right, the game was good, people came, big success for the New Orleans area. Back to talk New Orleans Pelicans basketball when Sports Noah TV continues in a moment. <laughs> 